Hello and welcome back to Facts FC. My name is Alon and today we'll be going over our fourth Premier League team, Brighton and Hove Albion. Let's jump in and get started with the basics. The stadium, the jersey, and the logo. The logo is in the shape of a circle. It's similar to Brentford's because they both have animals in the middle and two different colors in the circle. If you want to learn more about Brentford, click the tag above. Back to the logo. The outer part of the circle is white with the blue border, while the inner part is blue. Those are the club's colors. In the white part of the circle, it has the team's name, Brighton and Hove Albion. And lastly, I'm sure you noticed, but in the middle, it has a seagull. The reason for the seagull is quite interesting, but here's a summarized version of how they became the seagulls. It goes like this. At a pub in Brighton, people were watching Brighton play their rivals, Crystal Palace, whose nickname is the Eagles. Crystal Palace fans started shouting Eagles, and the Brighton fans responded by shouting Seagulls. And from then on, they became known as the Seagulls. Next, let's look at their stadium. Brighton plays at the American Express Community Stadium. The stadium is located in Brighton. Brighton is in South England, just south of London. The stadium was opened in 2011 and has been the home of Brighton since its opening. It can hold 31,800 people and the field size is 105 by 68 meters or 115 by 75 yards. Now let's look at their jerseys. I'll be looking at their home and away jersey and giving them a rating between 1 through 10, with 10 being the best. So let's look at the home jersey first. The home jersey is blue with white vertical stripes. I like the colors and the jersey, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. The away jersey is a nice mint color, and I like the design of the sleeves. This might be the only time I say this this season, but I'd give this jersey a perfect 10 out of 10 rating. Since we have the basics covered, let's look at some trophies they've won, some club facts, and some notable players. Despite Brighton being in the Premier League, they have never won a major trophy, not even a second division trophy. Even though Brighton made it to the FA Cup final in 1983, they soon fell to Manchester United. Here are a couple facts I bet you didn't know about Brighton. Fact number one. Despite Brighton making the 1983 FA Cup Final, they were relegated from the first division that same year. Fact number two. In 1992, Brighton played a friendly against the New Zealand national football team. I looked on the internet and I couldn't find the results of this game. So if you guys know the final score, let me know in the comments below. And fact number three. Brighton were the only professional team from Sussex between 1920 and 2011. That was until Crawley Town got promoted to the Football League. Even though Brighton may not be a very well-known team, they still have some notable players. Some notable players that have played or played for Brighton include Glenn Murray, Lewis Dunk, and Gareth Barry. Lastly, let's end with Brighton's main sponsor. Brighton is sponsored by American Express. American Express is a banking company located in New York City, New York. If you don't know what a bank is, it's basically a place where you could store money. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, consider subscribing. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. The next team coming up is Burnley. I'll see you then.